My Boyfriend's Back is a 1993 zombie comedy from director Bob Balaban. The movie opens comic book style to explain the backstory. Johnny Dingle, well, that last name's unfortunate, is a high school kid who's been in love with Missy McCloud ever since they were little. He talks about the time in the first grade he had a present to give her for her birthday, but chickened out. Or maybe he was just terrified by Pennywise over there. They're older now, and Johnny is madly in love with Missy. Well, my love for Missy drove me to do the most unimaginable thing one human being can do to another. Jerk them off with your elbow? Johnny's overjoyed when he finds out Missy broke up with her boyfriend, Buck Van Patten. Since she's now single, Johnny plans on asking her to the prom. He's getting ready for school, and the soundtrack plays some generic 90s pop. <laughs> Shouldn't a movie called My Boyfriend's Back use, oh, I don't know, My Boyfriend's Back? Johnny's getting ready for school, and did he just put a donut in his pocket? I used to think that Edward Herman was Herman Munster without the makeup. Johnny's riding to school, and holy shit, look at the size of that pie! I'm confused. The hairstyles, flannel, and high school scream 90s, but the cars and good-naturedly neighborhoods say 50s. Okay, there's a greaser? I think this movie takes place in 19xx. He's in his first class, in between his friend Eddie, and of course, Missy. He starts zoning out in class. Hey, Tiger. Mary Jane? My high school sex fantasies were never this vivid. That's a lot of pressure to perform. Things are going well until Johnny gets disqualified. The challenger, Johnny Dingle, is not using a regulation size unit. That's regulation? Well, better call in his replacement. Man, don't you know who I am? I'm Big Dick Black. Johnny goes to ask Missy to the prom. Pretty fun! He's just getting the words out when Super Jock Buck butts in to get back together with her. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Is this Sling Blade the high school years? Since Buck's back in the picture, Johnny has to come up with an extremely stupid idea to win Missy's heart. Get Eddie to act like he's robbing the store she works in so he can rescue her. While Johnny's inside, Eddie's outside screwing around until a real robber shows up. Good thing they're dressed the same and even the same height. Johnny saves Missy from being shot and Eddie knocks the guy out. Before he passes out, he asks Missy to the prom, and she agrees. Did I say passes out? I meant died. That's the thing with zombie comedies. At least one person has to die. Johnny gets buried. Then later that night... <laughs> you thought I was going to use the Altered Beast clip, didn't you? Johnny talks to the groundskeeper, Murray, who doesn't seem too surprised to see a zombie. Murray explains to Johnny that he's a zombie, but he doesn't believe him. Only death awaits you among the living. I am among the living. I'm the walking dude. He warns him not to leave, but Johnny wants to get out of there before Della Morte shows up. Johnny goes home and gives his parents quite a shock. They get over it pretty quickly. He finds the hole where he was shot and realizes he is in fact dead. Shouldn't he have an autopsy scar? Johnny goes to school, and while his classmates are freaked out, his teacher gives zero fucks. You wouldn't believe the trouble I had getting here. I would believe it, and I'm not impressed. He's having lunch when he realizes he no longer wants regular food, but rather living human flesh. Is that a style I missed in the 90s? The I blasted my shirt with a shotgun look? Johnny tries to talk to Missy, who's trying to get out of their prom date. Buck manhandles her, which pisses her off, so she agrees to go on a date with him. They go to the movies to see, what else? A zombie movie. Say, isn't that Buck's girl? All right, all right, all right. Things are going well with Missy until she accidentally bites his ear off. After this, Johnny goes to visit his family doctor to get some help. After gluing his ear back on, he goes to visit Maggie, a local lady who also had a loved one return from the dead. She tells him he's decomposing and he'll be dead by tomorrow unless he eats the flesh of the living. The more he eats, the longer he'll live. He needs to eat enough to stay alive until the prom. Dr. Bronson took a skin sample from Johnny and is trying to figure out how to reverse his condition. That night in Johnny's room, Hey, Missy! <laughs> Missy is once again putting the moves on Johnny until he sneezes his nose off. She then has a unique way of reattaching it. Other things start to fall off until, well, you know. Of course it was all a dream. His zombie wiener is safe. Chuck interrupts Johnny and Missy with the intention of killing him. Chuck goes to kill Johnny with a fire axe, but accidentally kills himself. There's very little blood for an axe to the head. Johnny takes this opportunity to eat him. Johnny goes home to see his mom picked up lunch for him. You picked up a little kid? Am I wrong, or do you have to eat the flesh of the living? <laughs> this is really fucked up. Chuck's father stops by because he thinks Johnny killed his son. Well, he killed an eight my boy today. 
So me and some of the other guys decided to come over and talk to him. The kid comes in, and it's little Chuck. So he's big Chuck, his son is Chuck, and then his other son is Chuck? How many Chucks are in this family? Johnny decides he's finally going to give Missy the present he was going to give her in the first grade. He goes to see her, but she's upset that he ate Chuck. That is, until he explains. You may not know this, Missy, but I ate Chuck for you. God, my boyfriend won't even pump gas for me. They go for a walk and he gives her the gift. She agrees to go to the prom with him, and Chuck Sr. tries to stop him. So the sheriff, Missy's father, intervenes. The Dingles have the sheriff over for dinner, but are trying to hide all the bodies they've been stockpiling for Johnny to eat. The sheriff knocks out Johnny, so he has another dream, this time where he eats Chuck Sr. Oh, these effects. He goes to finish him off, but now it's Missy. I think the director inserted some wish fulfillment. I want you to eat me. Johnny wakes up and do dead guys get boners? Missy's going to sneak out with Johnny to the prom, but he bites her. Afraid he's going to eat her, he leaves. Back at the doctor's, he injects a chicken with the serum he made out of Johnny's skin cells. The serum reverses aging. Rather than help Johnny, they want to use him to be rich. Dr. Bronson tells Johnny to go back to his office so he can save his life, and Eddie goes to get Missy. The doctor is getting ready to dismember Johnny, but is interrupted by a lynch mob. Missy and Eddie rescue Johnny. Johnny goes back to the cemetery, and look, it's raining over here, but it's not over here. The mob tries to kill Johnny, but Missy and his parents stop them. Whoa, is this Texas? Oh my god, it is! Murray asks the group how far they would go for someone they love. Could you have eaten someone to be with me? No. Not surprising, a guy named Murray is good at guilt trips. Missy takes Johnny to the prom, but he's dying. They get their one dance together, but then Johnny dies and goes to heaven. Seems there was some sort of clerical error and he wasn't supposed to die. To rectify this, they send him back to the night of his death. Only this time he's wearing the necklace and lives. He tells Missy he loves her and they go to the prom. Aww. The movie was filmed mostly in Austin, Georgetown, and Round Rock, Texas. Bob Balaban had been acting since 1965, and after directing a few things for TV, like an episode of Tales from the Dark Side and Amazing Stories, he directed his first theatrical film, Parents. Parents was a cannibal comedy, so it made sense that he'd follow that up with My Boyfriend's Back, a zombie comedy. The movie was produced by the director of the original Friday the 13th, Sean S. Cunningham. The cast for this movie was impressive. Edward Herman, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Mary Beth Hurt, Cloris Leachman, J.O. Saunders, and Paul Dooley. This was both Matthew Fox and Matthew McConaughey's first film. This would have also been Renee Zellweger's first movie, but her scenes were cut. Andrew Lowry played Johnny. After this, he was in a few movies like Color of Night and The Conspiracy of Fear, but quit acting in 2003 after he did the movie Nothing. In 1995, he played Dante in the so horrible it was buried Clerks TV pilot. Tracy Lynn played Missy. She started as a model when she was 13 and moved into acting in 1984 in an episode of the soap opera Ryan's Hope. Despite being in cult classics like Class of 1999, Fright Night Part 2, and Survival Quest, her career as an actress never quite took off, and she retired from the industry in 1997. The original title for the film was Johnny Zombie. As a nod to the old title, they have it on the marquee of the movie theater. I love My Boyfriend's Back. It's such an odd mix of pitch-black comedy combined with clever social satire. Instead of being about race, they played up the prejudice against Johnny for being dead. By God, if it ain't a zombie, I'm with a living woman. We're watching you, dead boy. We don't like your kind. You're stinking up the whole school. Chuck! Yeah. Trap! Zombie lover. Yeah. Horror of the undead. The movie plays out like a live-action comic book, which helps considering the intro and interludes. The camera angles look like they were ripped straight from the page, and the various matte paintings work wonders at keeping up the comic book aesthetic. It's a shame this never got the attention it deserved. With the absurdity of the dialogue, I don't know how the actors were able to deliver some of their lines with a straight face. Oh, jeez, miss. I didn't want to eat him, but it was the only way I could live long enough to go to the prom with you. You ate someone just to go to the prom with me. This movie will always have a special place in my heart. It's silly, funny, unique, and downright charming. Not what you'd expect from a movie about a kid who gets killed, then comes back from the dead to take a girl to the prom. Okay, maybe a little bit.
zombies. Like Savan. 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 Like Sav